Hi, to this Scratch tutorial, and today I'm going to walk you through how to work with the graphics inside of Scratch. So let's get started. So by now you know about this cat, but what about we, if we want to have some other sort of a character here? Well, and also if you want, maybe want to have something different than this white background. Um, so to do this, there are various tools that are available through Scratch. Uh, first of all, you can change the state the stage and the backdrop of it by pushing this button. This will cause uh, a library to open where you can choose predefined pictures that are already there inside of Scratch. So by clicking one of those pictures, we actually get that picture into the backdrop. This also opens the graphical tab here, uh, in which I can see a white backdrop, which was, which was the one we had before, and also the new one that we added. And I don't want the white backdrop anymore, so I'll just push this X here to get rid of it. You also have the possibility to draw your own background and you can do that by clicking the pencil here. That will give you a new white backdrop that you can draw on such as this. So now I'll make a small castle. Well, that's good enough. Um, so let's say we want to do the same thing with the cat. Well, actually, also with the sprites, you have the possibility to, here in Customs, add new images, as well as draw a new frame to the cat. So if I want to add a new image or costume to the cat here, I could just click the pencil and draw a new picture of the cat. There we go. If I wanted to add a completely new character, I could also use these buttons to import a new predefined character from the library, such as this crab, draw one on myself from the beginning, like this beautiful fox here, or I could also upload an image from the computer as well as take a photo with a web camera. So there you go to make graphics in Scratch.